He is very demanding when he wants to go surfing. He'll either cry or do his little dance until we take him. My wife and I, when we moved to Hawaii, we started fostering Milo and immediately fell in love and then adopted him. When he was a little puppy, he kind of demanded me to teach him how to surf. You want to surf? You want to surf? You want to surf? When he got on that surfboard the first time, I was like, I think we might have to uh, start surfing with this little guy. And he did pretty well. His other siblings enjoy the comfort of being dry. They did not understand the water the way Milo did. There's definitely a few reasons that I love to surf with Milo. Every surf session with him, I feel like our bond gets strengthened. We read each other so well. When I'm in a down mood, he knows to give me a little extra affection. Our connection with the ocean is so similar. The ocean has always been therapy for me, and I can definitely tell it's the exact same way with him as well. Good boy. Milo and I decided to compete in a surfing competition that was raising money for the victims of the Maui wildfires. As soon as we touched the waters, he jumped on the board. It felt so natural. I knew he was gonna do well, but he got third place and that really shocked me for his first surf competition. After that day, we have never seen him so tired. He's a water dog. Anything in the ocean or in any type of water brings him so much joy. Milo loves boating, wakeboarding, kite surfing. I love that we get to experience new activities and hobbies together. And I always want to take him on the water with whatever activity we're doing. We just got this one man outrigger canoe. I found one of my old beat up boogie boards and attached ropes to the side of the outrigger. Sure enough, he loves riding out on the sidecar. Once we're out in the ocean, it seems like everything else disappears. It's just me, Milo, and the ocean. <laughs>